What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again. It's been a while since I've done a video on RetroX, but I had to get this out of the way because the new theming system is here and it looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, it's very reminiscent of Emulation Station and I'm sure that's what he was going for here. By the way, the tablet I'm using here is the Amazon Fire HD 10 and I'm using an IPEGA telescoping PG9083 and it does fit the tablet just fine. In just a second, I'm gonna move over to the Shield TV and show you how to enable this new interface and also import a few games. I mean, it's super easy to do, but before we get started here, I just wanna let you guys know that this is a paid app. They do have a trial that you can test out, but it's a paid Android app and you can only get it from the RetroX website. So if you're not interested in paying for apps, then this video is probably not for you. There are other free front ends on the Google Play Store that you can test out, but I've really never come across anything that looks this good and is this easy to use. So in my opinion, it is well worth the price. There are a few other themes included, like the pure white here, but in my opinion, it's just too bright. I go with the pure dark, and hopefully new ones will be added very soon. In my experience, RetroX has always had kind of an issue with scraping images for certain systems. Like all the main stuff's gonna work fine, but if you wanna go to Final Burn Alpha, I noticed that it's just not picking up my games and scraping the proper image for me. So that's definitely something you need to keep in mind when making a purchase on an app like this. But overall, it's super easy to use. It downloads everything for you. All you need to do is add your own games. It'll download the images that it can scrape. It'll download the BIOSes, and it has built-in emulators. So it's really easy to set up. Just add your games, and you can be up and running in no time. So with all that out of the way, I wanna give you a demo on the Nvidia Shield. I'm gonna show you how to enable this new theming system here and add a few games. All right, so here we are with my NVIDIA Shield. This will work on the older one or the newer one, the Pro version or the 16 gig, it really doesn't matter. This will work on pretty much any Android device as long as it's Android 4.4 or higher. You will have to download this from the RetroX website. I will leave a link in the description. It is a paid app, like I mentioned, but if you want an easy to use, nice looking front end for your Android device, RetroX is where it's at. We're gonna get right into it. I'm just gonna launch it here. I'm running all of my games from a USB drive. When you initially install it on your Nvidia Shield, it's gonna look something like this after you add your first couple games. I want it to look like emulation stations, so I'm gonna press the B button. Settings. Display settings. User interface. And at the very bottom, TV mode plus themes. Now when you're in TV mode, even on an Android phone, you need a controller to navigate. Touch doesn't work in TV mode, so you will have to have a controller even if you're using an Android tablet or an Android phone. I'm gonna go ahead and enable it here, and if you're interested in picking up a controller, I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon to a few that I've chosen. We're gonna have to restart RetroX. And here it is. We can change the theme by pressing B on our controller. We're gonna to go to display and audio settings at the very top. There's a few to choose from right now as of making this video, but he is working on more. We have Pure Light, Retro X Classic, Retro X Vintage, Pure Dark. So we'll go with Pure Light. It's just super bright. I'm gonna go back and change it back to dark. Pure Dark. So I've already added a few games here, and like I mentioned, one of the main issues is scraping the artwork correctly for all of these games. With Final Burn Alpha, it's had a hard time finding the correct stuff for me. Few of them do work, and hopefully this can be fixed in the future. It has to do with the naming convention of the ROMs I'm using, so you might have better luck than me. But for the main stuff, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, NES, Game Boy Color, uh, Genesis 32X, it seems to scrape them perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and add some N64 games here. Be on my controller. Manage games. Add a folder for one system. I'm going to scroll down until I find N64. And now I'm going to go to my USB drive. I have a folder in here called N64 with all of my ROMs in it. I'm going to select this folder and I'm going to scan now. So now when I go back to my N64 section, I'll have those games that I just added. Like I mentioned, it does a good job scraping well-known systems, as you can see. Got all six of these here. I'll add one more here, press B, Manage Games, 
add a folder for one system, and we'll do Dreamcast. Go to Parent Folder, find Dreamcast, select this folder, Scan Now. Click OK, back up. So I now have Dreamcast games added. And when we're ready to play, it's going to download all of the necessary files for us, even the BIOSes. So if I want to play Dead or Alive 2, I'm going to press A. It'll now download the extra packages required to play Dreamcast. The very bottom here, make sure you have install highlighted. I know it's kind of hard to see here. It's now finished. I can start Dead or Alive 2. And you'll be up and playing your favorite Dreamcast games in no time. In order to back out, just press the back button on your shield controller, and we're going to quit. So that's pretty much it. It's one of the best looking front ends for Android. Very easy to use, easy to navigate, and I can't wait until some more themes are released. Hopefully they are within the next few weeks or so. I've been using RetroX for a long time. In 2018, I made a few videos on it showing you how to set it up. It's come a long way since then, but the scraping still needs some work. I really just wanted to show this off real quick because I was super excited to have a nice little front end on our Android device, especially the NVIDIA Shield. There are a few other really nice Android emulation front ends out there, and most of them are free to use, but setting them up can be a pain for a lot of people. RetroX has been the easiest one I've ever come across, and now that we have these new themes, I think it's probably the best looking one so far. Really appreciate you guys watching. All links that I mentioned will be in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, Thanks for watching.